un-Indian. Bretley bowls a no ball. It's too contrived. Indians are celebrating Holi in Australia. Now why on earth would an Aussie fall for an Indian girl like Tanishta Chatterjee whose face is so covered with colour that it's just blobs of black? But that's the childish screenplay by Tushi Sati and Vikram Singh where even Bretley can't bowl you over. He can't bowl the maiden over as well. Oh wait, she's no maiden. He's Will and she's Meera, a single mother who lives with her parents. The parents are caricatures who widen their eyes at a white boyfriend and strike their foreheads wondering what will the community say. The community will probably say, we've moved on, will you too please? Anyway, Will's fallen in love, Meera is still smarting from a divorce, still to get over the arranged marriage that didn't work out. But she's done well for herself and doesn't need a man to support her. The only problem is, we never do see her at the workplace. Instead, you see her helping others, cooking, looking after her kids, Smita, etc. You know, show what an ideal woman she is. After some immaturely staged meetings, which worked in Hindi cinema in the 70s, Meera finally finds she's in love with Will too. But she's the brooding, unexciting sort who doesn't tell Will why she has to keep her daughter away from her ex-husband. Daughter Smita annoyingly asks every second adult around, Do you love me? Maybe one would if she didn't keep asking. If it's supposed to tug at the heartstrings, it doesn't. But Will's a nice guy and he wins her over. But the first husband reappears and Will does something that creates a rift between him and Meera. Well, if Meera hadn't been the silent, secretive type, there probably wouldn't have been a problem to begin with. After a round of tiresome scenes, annoying kid brings Will and Smita together again. It's a happy ending but far from a match winner. Director Anupam Sharma tells a lethargic tale with no highs and a lot of sighs. To be fair to Bretley, he is no fiery actor, but he is not awkward either. Tanishta delivers, but there's no brilliance demanded of her. For a film that's insipid and full of cultural cliches, Unindian gets a two-star rating. For more videos, please subscribe to Bollywood Asia.